Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Archer and Soracle partner to launch air taxis in Japan, General Atomics and Navy fly MQ-20 Avenger demo, and coming very soon, Starship 6 flight test. And I'm your host, Helen Blake. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Archer and Soracle partner to launch air taxis in Japan. Archer Aviation and Soracle Corporation are working together to bring electric air mobility to Japan. Their new agreement includes up to 100 new aircraft, totaling around $500 million. This aims to help alleviate congestion and improve transportation in Japanese cities where ground travel is limited by traffic or terrain. Under this partnership, Soracle plans to purchase up to 100 of Archer's midnight electric aircraft. This fleet would operate in high-demand urban areas such as Tokyo, Osaka, and Nagoya. Soracle hopes to eventually extend its network to other regions, such as Hokkaido and Okinawa, to grow travel options for residents, domestic travelers, and international visitors. Archer and Soracle will need to work alongside Japan's Civil Aviation Bureau to gain certifications. Regulatory discussions between Archer and JCAB have already begun, setting the stage for Midnight's Japanese approval. This partnership was formally celebrated at a signing event in Tokyo on September 26, 2024. An upcoming flight demonstration of the Midnight Aircraft is planned for Japan's 2025 World Expo, which will run from April to October and is expected to draw millions of visitors. The showcase will allow Soracle and Archer to highlight their vision for urban air mobility and attract both public interest and stakeholder engagement. After the break, man attempts to destroy power grid with rigged drone. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Man attempts to destroy power grid with rigged drone. 24-year-old Skylar Philippi of Columbia, Tennessee was arrested just before attempting to damage a Nashville power grid with his drone. He planned to rig the device with pipe bombs to destroy the facility. The US DOJ charged Philippi with attempting to use a weapon of mass destruction and attempting to destroy an energy facility, earning him up to a life sentence. CAE launches Prodigy to civil aviation market. CAE announced it has begun delivery of its full flight sims equipped with the ultra realistic 3D visual system using gaming technology, the CAE Prodigy Image Generator. As of now, the CAE Prodigy is available on new FFS for all commercial and business aircraft models and is also available as an upgrade on FFS already in service. The image generator provides an immersive and ultra-realistic pilot training experience. SpaceX Falcon 9 launches NASA Science and Cargo 2 ISS. On Monday, November 4th, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched the Dragon vehicle on its way to the ISS with its 31st Commercial Resupply Services mission, carrying a payload of science experiments and cargo for the station crew. Falcon 9 launched from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center with more than 6,000 pounds of supplies at about 9.29 p.m. Eastern, and autonomously docked with the forward port of the station's Harmony module at 9.52 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday, November 5th. Joby's Electric Air Taxi completes first overseas flight. 
Joby, in partnership with Toyota, recently completed its first air taxi flight in Japan. This trails behind Toyota's confirmation of a new $500 million investment for the certification and production of the Joby Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing aircraft. The international debut flight occurred at Toyota's Higashi Fuji Technical Center in Shizuoka, Japan. Joby demonstrated the capabilities of its quiet and emission-free electric air taxi and celebrated almost seven years of partnership with Toyota Motor Corporation. That's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. General Atomics and Navy fly MQ-20 Avenger demo. General Atomics has completed a successful demonstration of its MQ-20 Avenger UAS to perform commanded autonomous maneuvers in a demonstration with the U.S. Navy. The Navy used its MD-5 ground control station, along with Lockheed Martin's MDCX autonomy platform, to command and control the jet-powered aircraft. The GAASI team successfully performed the flight demo over a proliferated low-Earth orbit data link. The USN's Unmanned Carrier Aviation Program Office, PMA-268, used the MQ-20 as a surrogate to show how its mission control station can command a variety of unmanned aircraft. The MD-5 GCX was operated from the Patuxent River Test Facility in Maryland, while the MQ-20 was flown out of GAASI's Flight Ops Facility in El Mirage, California. This was the first time the MQ-20 completed bidirectional communications with the Navy's MCS during autonomous flight. The MQ-20 is used extensively as a surrogate testbed for development of UAS technology as part of the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Initiative. After these messages, coming very soon, Starship 6 flight test. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Coming very soon, Starship 6 flight test. Despite the usual delays associated in dealing with the FAA and other impediments, such as the eco-lobby, SpaceX is ready to take its next step on the way to Mars. The sixth flight test of Starship is targeted to launch as early as Monday, November 18th, one week from yesterday. Starship's fifth flight test was reportedly a seminal moment in iterating towards SpaceX's aggressive target of building a fully and rapidly reusable launch system. On the first attempt, the Super Heavy booster successfully returned to the launch site and was caught by the chopstick arms of the launch and catch tower at Starbase. Starship's upper stage went on to demonstrate several improvements, resulting in a controlled entry and high-accuracy splashdown at the targeted area in the Indian Ocean. The next Starship flight test aims to expand the envelope on ship and booster capabilities and get closer to bringing reuse of the entire system online. Objectives include the booster once again returning to the launch site for catch, reigniting a ship Raptor engine while in space, and testing a suite of heat shield experiments and maneuvering changes for ship reentry and descent over the Indian Ocean. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.